Hello friends, in the last video lecture, we took some examples on the types of loads based on the direction. In this lecture, we will take an example when the identification of type of load acting on plates connected by a rivet or pin joint is given. In this question, we have been given that two plates are connected by a rivet and a load P is applied on the plate as shown in the figure. Find out the type of load on the plate and the rivet. As we can see from the figure, two plates are connected by a rivet joint and a load P is applied on the plate as shown. For the rivet, the load P is parallel to the surface. For the rivet, the load P is parallel to the surface and passes through the longitudinal axis. Hence, for the rivet load, P is transverse shear load or TSL. Now, for the rivet load, P is parallel to the surface and passes through the longitudinal axis. And for the plate, the load P is normal to the surface and passes through the longitudinal axis. Hence, for the plate, the load P is an axial load. Till now, we have done a lot of questions on the identification of types of load. And I thought that now you can identify the types of load acting on any members of a section. In the next lecture, we will start with the effects of these types of load on a member. That is, the types of stresses which are developed in the members due to different types of load. Thank you for watching this video, students. Do subscribe our channel and please do like our channel, Ikeda.